Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to another session from Economicspedia. So today's session of discussion, it's a very interesting and uh, a little bit confusing maybe uh, for the students uh, who are focusing on the econometric side. So as you can see the topic written on the board that it is regarding Gauss Markov's theorem. Now uh, since I use the word confusing, many a times uh, students get confused how to explain the Gauss Markov's theorem, right? So uh, it's very simple. That's why this short session will help you to get the exact concept of how to explain the Gauss Markov's theorem. However, if you are seeking to get the full note on this Gauss Markov's theorem, you can contact us. The details are appearing on your screen. Also, you can find the details below in the description box. All right, so let's get started. Now, Gauss Markov's theorem. This comes from the CLRM as a uh, CLRM part that is classical linear regression model. In one of my previous videos, uh, I have explained the properties or the assumptions of CLRM. You can find the session by clicking on the card that is appearing here on the screen or you can also find it below in the description box. I have given the link there as well. So the assumptions of CLRM, assumptions or you can call them as properties, anything. So properties of CLRM that I have mentioned uh, very clearly 10 CLRM assumptions. Now to explain this Gauss Markov's theorem, we have to get involved with this CLRM properties or assumptions, right? And, and to explain this Gauss Markov's theorem, we have to consider one more thing. Consider best linear unbiased estimator. So, to explain Gauss Markov's theorem, we have to consider the blue property of the OLS estimates of the regression model, right? So this is where the confusion actually lies that whenever we are explaining Gauss Markov's, do we need to, we need to include blue, but how to put that in? So to explain Gauss Markov, we have to consider blue at the end, at the back end, right? So if this blue happens, then in, in a gist format, we can say that this is the Gauss Markov's theorem. Now, quickly, I am going to go through, make you go through this blue properties of OLS estimates, right? So, the OLS estimates, let's say I am taking the OLS estimate of beta 2, right? If this has to be blue, for blue, that means best linear unbiased estimate, it needs to satisfy three of the properties. And these are very important properties by the way. So number one, that it has to be linear. That means this beta 2 has to be in a linear format in the regression model. Okay, beta 2 has to be linearly related to the in a dependent variable, right? There should not be any power or any other function. This has to be linear. Now coming to the second point of blue. It has to be unbiased, the second one. So this is the best. This is what L for linear, right? Here we have linear. U for unbiased. You can remember like this. So unbiased, unbiased property of this OLS estimate of beta 2. How we can explain it? In one of my previous sessions, exclusively on econometrics, I have explained it. If you are seeking for the entire playlist of uh, econometrics, click on the card that is appearing on your screen or you can find the links below in the description box as well. All right. So unbiased property that is expectation of beta 2 hat has to be equal to beta 2. This is the unbiased property of the OLS estimate of beta 2, right? And E, E stands for efficiency. Efficiency. So efficiency of beta 2, how we can measure that? 
if we have minimum variance of beta 2 among all the other estimators among all the other OLS estimators of the same regression model if we have the variance of this beta 2 minimum then my beta 2 becomes efficient estimator okay so if any estimator is having a minimum most variance the lowest variance then we call that particular estimator as the minimum uh, efficient estimator right so these three are the major properties for the blue so blue's full form is best linear unbiased estimator or you can also relate it to this word that i have used it has to be linear it has to be unbiased and it has to be efficient estimator right so in a gist in a gist i can put gauss markov's theorem as the clrm condition the classical linear regression model that we have considered and along with that it has to be the unbiased property must be satisfied along with it it has to be efficient that is in a nutshell if any estimator satisfies the blue property we can explain and we can concise the whole thing with the help of this gauss markov's theorem okay so this is how you can put gauss markov's theorem in a very simpler very uh, in very simpler and easy terms okay i really hope that this session was helpful to you let me know what exact topics you are searching for it and if you like this session don't forget to press the like button and if you are new to our channel also press the subscribe button right across in your screen and press the bell icon so that you never miss any update from economics media thank you so much for such an unbelievable support you can get in contact with us for further details the details are appearing on your screen you can also visit the description box for that thank you so much for watching see you in the next session